Um, yeah. Welcome back to the electric go-kart build. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be going through our whole electrical system and figuring things out and hopefully troubleshooting some problems that if you were to do this as well, you would encounter. Yeah, we're going to get in touch with Build Brick Repeat and uh, make sure we have everything uh, correct, charge the batteries correctly. We don't want to like blow anything up or overheat anything. So yeah, we're going to play it safe and we're going to get the motor spinning. So pretty much what we got going on here is um, we got some batteries. We got, we got the photos over here. And pretty much what we're doing is we're trying to wire the thing with this photo. What we want to do today <laughs> is get the batteries to charge. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> There was a blinking light, guys. Exciting news. Right in there. Um, so we just turned it off because that's a little scary and we want to make sure we have things hooked up correctly between the two batteries. Wires? Yeah. We can use the bench grinder. <laughs> That's a lot cleaner. That's a, that's a lot cleaner. Yes, it is. Yeah. So maybe we won't blow it up now. We just realized we didn't wire the DC. DC yeah, as you can see, I've watched this video like eight times. They blew up the three out of I suppose from the way that it was. And now we have this. 500 amp fuse. That sounds harder to blow up to me. Uh, 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 no, I think it out. This, this one goes This plug goes in there. I think I can hear you now. Your Wi-Fi was, um, okay. yeah, pretty spotty. Yeah, um, yeah my <clears throat> Wi-Fi kind of sucks. What I would do to charge it was just rewire the batteries so that they'd be in series again, and then <laughs> charge it, and then unwire it. Okay. We just got off the phone with Jason, mm -hmm. and um, it helped us out a lot. Yeah, we thought it was. We yeah, we were completely wrong. We thought it was. The other charger and we he didn't even charge through the BMS system. <laughs> okay, we did all that work just for two bolts. Moment of truth here. some blinky lights here, which I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it works. That it sounds good to me. <laughs> we got some big news. So it's been about three hours since we worked on the go-kart last. And Ben just saw the charging light turn green. Green is a good color. We like green. So uh, I think we did something right. What'd you do? Mm, broke it. You broke it? Mm -hmm. Stupid idiot. Pass me that. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Yep, of course. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm working on wiring up the switch panel now. So all these wires go into here. 
in a sort of a confusing way. Ben has been working very hard on cleaning up these switch wiring um, connections. They used to just be like twisted and sort of electrical taped together. We hooked this battery up here. Uh, we're gonna put the fuse in right here and then um, the negative on this side is running to this beat. Theory, it should everything should work right. Yeah. E switch. Right, right switch. Contactor and cords. Boom. Thirty nine point two volts. Batteries work. Boom. Yep. Uh-oh, this battery's negative. <laughs> we just discovered uh, the issue with our wiring. With the help of this diagram that comes in the manual for the speed controller. So we need to tap into it before the contactor, put a fuse that limits to 12 volts that will power the contactor when we turn the contactor switch on. This yeah. is first test, we just finished wiring the switch panel. Contactor. <gasps> no. No. Oh, it's not in gear. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> it's spinning. <laughs> oh, that might be something don't smell good. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something made a little fried noise. Uh-oh. It's in here. That looks all okay. All right, well, we know it works now. Or it used to. <laughs> so the speed controller's flashing the code two green blanks and six red blanks, which means low throttle under range. under range. So there's a wire for that in pin eight. But it doesn't look like bad there, so. Yeah. I don't know, we gotta get to class now. Yeah, we're gonna check some things out. So, yep. I'm holding our new throttle. <laughs> this is just temporary. We have another one coming in the mail, but we found these zero to 5,000 ohm potentiometers. Ben just cleaned up um, the wiring here and like pulled apart the pin that connects to... Um, we thought that might have been a problem, but the pin looked fine. The pin that connects the throttle, because that's where we saw the smoke coming from. Let's give it a test. Yeah. Oh Three my nights. goodness. Let's go. Oh boy. Mm, it's still giving us the... Oh, let me test something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand what's happening. The programming of the speed controller is funky. So the speed controller thinks that it's at full throttle when it's only like a quarter throttle right here. And then when you go past that, then it blinks the error light, which means like the programming for the throttle or the throttle level is too low or too high to pick up in the speed controller and spin the motor so the motor just like freaks out and stops what are you saying this one um i haven't planned it all right thanks for watching subscribe <laughs> <laughs> we got all the 
things we wanted to done in this video, which is super exciting. Uh, we're making pretty good progress, I'd say, in the first couple weeks back from break. Next video, we are going to be programming the speed controller and hopefully starting making some mounts on the frame. We hope you enjoyed this third video in our series. Please subscribe. We desperately need more subscribers. <laughs> um, Thanks for watching.